down sometimes, I guarantee you you'll cry. Just because you feel like you're in his presence, tears will come out of your eyes. Not for sadness, but because he's making you feel so good. Acts chapter 27, verse number 20. Acts 27, verse number 20. When now neither sun nor stars appeared for many days, talking about Shaul out there, and no small storm beat on us. I imagine those brothers were scared, but see, if they would have listened to Paul in the first place, nobody would have been out there. But no, they decided we're going anyway. Okay. Okay. Then in verse number 21, he says, and when there had been a long abstinence from food, them brothers had not eaten in a while. Shaul, standing in the midst of them, said, truly, men, you have listened to me not to have sailed from Crete and sustained this damage. If you would have just listened to me, you should have listened. You know, those are some words that hurt when people say, you should have listened. And you know they done told you the truth. I remember one time I had a, a, a business proposition, Sister Ethel, and, and, and it cost me $1,500. Sister William said, you sure you want to do that? I said, I'm sure. Loaded up, went to Texas for my training and all that kind of stuff. While we was up there, somebody stole a hubcap. The kind you got to have a special thing to get it off with, they, they stole that thing. Huh? Got all of them, she said. Got back home. Out of that business, I made one sale. You should have listened. And it hurt for me to say, you're right. <laughs> that was a $1,500 hurt. But I learned from that. At least now when she tell me something, I weigh it. You know, because I found out it's worth weighing it sometimes rather than just acting on what you think all the time. Yeah. We learn. Even David had to say he was stupid. So that sometimes I was stupid too. And I'm cautious now because I don't want to be stupid no more. No, I don't like stupid. Hallelujah. So Paul said, if y'all would have listened to me, we wouldn't have to sustain this damage and, and this loss. But, but you know, when, when, what, what did they miss out on? Nothing. What did they gain? Number one, they gained, if they would have listened to the instruction of the apostle, they wouldn't be in danger. What else did they learn? They learned that when he told them to just do what I'm telling you right now and go this way and anchor right here. And when they anchor right there, guess what? They were pretty good until the waves started beating on that boat and then they started making that boat break all up into pieces. They listened to that man because what they wanted to do was take the lifeboat and put it over and get in that lifeboat and run. Paul said, if you put that lifeboat over, somebody going to die. Stay in the boat. That was the key word. Stay in the boat. And nothing gonna, we're not going to lose one person if you just listen to me. Stay in the boat. What am I telling this congregation? Stay in the boat. Yes. It's going to get rough sometimes. You might have to cry sometimes. You're going to feel pain sometimes. But stay in the boat. So guess what happened to the boat? The boat started getting all beat up and started breaking up in the, in the pieces and stuff. But look what it said in that scripture when you read it for yourself. It says some people took off and who knew how to swim and they went on to the land. See, that's some of us, my brothers and sisters. We got that word down in our heart. We ain't planning on going back with no kind of way and we're going to learn how to float above our situation. But the other ones, they, guess how they came in? Holding on to broken pieces. Some of us in here got some brokenness in our lives and that same brokenness that you were getting ready to discard is what's going to be able to help you to hold on until you get to that land over there. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. Then when you get to that land over there, Paul going around getting some sticks to light a fire. Now he should have been the one that was waiting on, but Paul was out there getting sticks to warm them up. But that turned, that turned 1 Corinthians loose again. 1 Corinthians chapter 9, if you know what I'm talking about, Paul said, I work with my hands to support these who with me. Uh -huh. 
Now he's out there showing them, I'm the apostle of the most high. I'm the cause of this trip going like it is. I'm the one that was chosen and put on this vessel. I'm the one who gave you wise instructions that you didn't listen to. I'm the man on this boat, but I'm serving y'all. And those same people saw a serpent bite him. What else did they learn? Our father is a healer. Even though the serpent bit him. They sitting there waiting. This man must be a murderer. You done done something wrong. That snake done bit him. He's going to die right here. Paul just shook him off. How many of us need, need to shake some stuff off today? Shake it off in the fire. Make sure it don't come back at you. Y'all hear what I'm saying, don't you? Because if you shake it off on the ground, it got a tendency to crawl back on you. But if you shake it off in the fire and let it burn up, you're done with that. Hallelujah. When I threw that cigarette down, I was done with it. I never pick up another one till this day. And don't plan on smelling nobody else's either. But I just get kind of irate sometimes. If you come to his house and you light up a cigarette, I will escort you to the door. Oh yeah, I don't want you smoking my nostrils. No, no, you keep your smoke, partner. If you want to kill yourself, that's your, that's your thing. But you ain't going to kill me in my house. That's my house over there. Hallelujah. You ain't gonna kill us. No, we want to live. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 5, verse number 3. Romans chapter 5, verse number 3. And not only so, but we glory in tribulation. We do what? Glory. We, we begin to show brighter esteem when we're going through something. Yeah. Knowing that the tribulation we're going through, we don't like it, but it's good for us. Because it works what? And patience, when we get that going on, it brings us into what? Experience. experience. And experience brings us into what? Hope. See, we need all of that right. yes, to make it through this world we're living in. Uh -huh. How many of y'all got some hope in here today? Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. I'm glad to see them hands going up. See, we got to have hope in here. But we also got to back up and reverse and re figure where it came from. Uh -huh. <clears throat> came from what? And where we got experience from? Tribulation. Patience. Tribulation. tribulation comes to bring us into all of that good stuff. And we look at tribulation, we go, oh man, I, we got to go through this. And now the preachers, the preachers then figure out a way how to get your money and make you feel good while they're getting it. They tell you, don't worry about all of that. You're not going to be here when that tribulation comes. You, he come and get you before the tribulation comes. They don't know that scripture that brother standing. They didn't read that part. Through many and many trials and tribulations where you enter. They didn't they erase that one. Put that white out in there. Yeah, see, but we got to understand that was meant for us. The Messiah said they're going to kill some of y'all. They're going to put you in prison. They're going to beat you. And these people being lied to and they receiving those lies and thinking they're going to get away and escape without no trouble. When you get that hope working on the inside of you, you're not ashamed anymore. They got people trying to convince me that Almighty Yah is not real. And then they got people who don't believe that the Messiah is the son of Almighty Yah. And then they got people who don't believe in the scripture book at all. But my scripture book tells me it's a fool that said there ain't no Elohim. So you can't tell me too much. Because see, like right now, Brother Dean and Sister Natalie sitting right there by Brother Roland. And if, if somebody come along and try to tell them something bad about Brother Roland, you going to sit there and listen to them talk about your daddy? I don't think so. Well, guess what? I don't want nobody around me who's going to talk negative about Almighty Yah. You might as well go on about your business. Before you irritate me, and then I'm going to get some righteous indignation. Going in your direction and you ain't going to like it. See, I'm going to tell you straight up. I'm going to be honest with you. You can't talk about my father and you can't talk about my brother. My father is Almighty Yah. My brother is Yahushua Mashiach. You ain't going to talk about them to me. Because I love them and I know what they did for me. Now, if they didn't do anything for you, that's you. But I know what they did for me. <clears throat> I'm here today because of them. Hallelujah. Because, see, I, I preached a message not too long ago. Just in the nick of time, 
he showed up. Just when I was getting ready to do the thing that would have ended me up dead or in prison, he showed up. And saved me from myself. But all that I went through is paying off now. Because the man that I was at one time who was weak, now I'm strong. I was blind. But now I see. I hear when he talked to me now. Hallelujah. And the fire of his power is down on the inside of me. I'm like a time bomb ready to go off. Yes. Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> and I got a short fuse, baby. Don't take much. Hallelujah. Praise him. Hallelujah. We have a good father. Yes, yes. Oh. Second Corinthians. I think that's where we're going. Yeah, Second Corinthians chapter 4. Second Corinthians chapter 4. Oh, bless your name, Father. Look at verse number seven. And he says, we have this treasure in earthen vessel, this body right here, so that the excellency of the power might be of Elohim and not of us. So when you see me moving and you see me preaching and you see me singing and you see me dancing and it seems like I'm not getting tired, that's not Isaac. That is Yah on the inside of Isaac. And whatever you see is what he wants you to see. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you see a weakness in Isaac, the father said, I want you to see that because he's a man just like you with the same passions as you. And he can fall, but look at that boy standing up. Hallelujah. Even though they lied on him, even though they didn't try to knock him down, look at him, he's still praising me. Even though you don't have all of the money that everybody else got, look at him, he's still praising me. Look at his children that walked away from him. Look at his house, and he's still loving me. Yeah. And I'm going to love him. Because he first loved me. When I was just a no good, he was loving me. When I was in Vietnam, going through the jungle under trees sometimes with big old snakes in them, he was with me. When I heard bullets whizzing by, he was with me. When helicopters came and I had to land them in the pitch black darkness of the night with two cone lights in my hand, I was the biggest target there. And I still came out of there. He was with me then and I didn't know it. I was a fool. I can give you a whole lot of other incidents that took place, but I ain't going there. But I'm going to tell you this. If it had not been for Yah Almighty on my side, hallelujah, I wouldn't even be here. Hallelujah. But I thank him every day of my existence because he's that good to me. Hallelujah. Look, 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 look what else he said. Look, look. He said, being hard pressed. Hey, is somebody in here with me been through this stuff? Being hard pressed on every side. But I wasn't crushed. Being perplexed. But I never entered despair. Been persecuted. But he never forsook me. Being thrown down. But I wasn't destroyed. Always bearing about in the body the dying of the master Yahushua. Why? That the life of Yahushua might also be manifested in our own body. See, I'm carrying his body of death so his life can be seen in me. Hello, somebody. Praise his Kodesh name. For we, who's he talking to? The living 